reports are that um, this young woman, the first uh, woman, Brittany, has met with the NFL. We're looking at decades old allegations, not decades, but several years uh, old allegations, but now the NFL is meeting with her. What could that add to the investigation, if anything? The NFL is conducting their own investigations. Five days before opening day, she filed a federal lawsuit. We can all remember that there are two <laughs> counts of sexual misconduct claims, and in last year, May of 2008, she claims that he forcibly raped her. Now, in fairness to Antonio Brown, he has come out through his attorney and said, absolutely not. He says they did engage in a relationship that was consensual. He says this is all about dollar signs, that she had wanted him to invest $1.6 million in a business project. When he said no, she said, OK, I'm going to file this lawsuit unless you settle for $2 million. Mm -hmm. She said no. The NFL has obviously, as necessary, taken this seriously, and they are trying to conduct this investigation. Now, what about the second woman, the person who's come out now recently? You have this first bombshell allegation, the lawsuit. Sports Illustrated this week printed an article with an unnamed woman who says that in 2017 she met Antonio Brown at a charity benefit. He hired her to come to his home and paint a mural. Day one, all good. Day two, she is painting, kneeling down, working at the bottom. She says he comes up behind her completely naked, holding a small washcloth in front of his genitals whole conversation, but when she didn't go with his sexual advances, professional relationship over. Clearly, he has denied these allegations. You point out the NFL is investigating. One of the, we do this crime show, as I pointed out, and with um, allegations like this, it does become he said, she said. Any of you in here could be picked for a jury and end up on a case like this if it goes to the criminal level. So many times, there is no evidence. There are no text messages. There's no trail. And in this case, I've read a lot of details, but so far, we've seen very little evidence. And that's a great point, an important one, Tamron. As you know, what a victim says is evidence, but it's going to come down to what they can see around it, what's the actual evidence. And the important thing for us all to be talking about, the bigger conversation, victims' rights. What we are seeing, which is so thankful, women in particular are more comfortable with the notion that it doesn't matter if you're in the NFL or where you are, they will be heard, their stories will be told. Where this yeah. one's going to come out, we'll see, but the concept is important. No one is immune from the law and getting away with that, which they should. Absolutely, but I do like to keep these kind of conversations in the court and not the court of public opinion. Because with that said, we've seen a lot of backlash, Me Too movement, for example, um, the conversation of should everyone be believed when we know, in fact, people will be deceptive, people can have agendas. And with the Antonio Brown uh, attorney, his attorney is pointing to the fact that this woman um, allegedly asked for money. How does that complicate the, 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 the case itself, especially if this is going to go beyond a civil case? Or does it matter? Everything matters. All of it is part of putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And money, certainly as a prosecutor, when you hear that come into play, you start with the turn of the head. However, it doesn't mean you doubt her story, but it has to be placed into the pot of things you're looking at. You have to look at all the yeah. pieces. It's going to come out. And you brought up a really important point. The fact that this is about money, no criminal charges have been filed. We're talking about civil, civil arena so far. And that is something that prosecutors, people keep saying, is there going to be criminal charges? Maybe, potentially. They're going to look at all that. As as far as we know, no police reports have been filed. Right. It's a civil case. It is about money. The allegations are horrendous, if true. It all needs to be vetted, investigated very seriously. How much does the NFL play a role in this? As I said, you know, we've seen stories like this in the past. We've seen allegations of domestic abuse, which some turned out to be true. We've seen it all with the NFL. Do they play a role in this, or is this one player's journey and his attorneys and the court system to deal with him? It's both. Really? Antonio Brown has his own journey to follow in this. But the NFL, the large organization they all know that is, they have a role too and they know it. We know that they're taking it very seriously. Yeah. We know that they have met with, uh, on Monday they had yeah. totally hours long of a meeting. They're doing this as quickly and as expeditiously as they can to help understand what they should be doing as the governing body.